All right, well, we're back. Of course, we're back with Big John in the, in the Wind Pigs Fly Studio. Um, I've had a struggle today. I have. It's uh, been one of those days when uh, I've, I've been out here all day trying to get a couple pieces right. And it's funny, no matter how long I do this, I always forget that, like, when things like that happen, sometimes it's better just to move on. But it's okay. Today's paid off. I finally, uh, I, I finally got it. So just to update, because I'm not even sure if y'all are going to see the video that I did where I, I pretty much um, failed. I uh, had a concept and it didn't do great. Uh, this was this was my four cooks that I had made a previous video of, and um, we got bored with carrying them around. They uh, weren't that lucrative. People didn't seem to enjoy them. Um, they well, they enjoyed them. Um, that's not true. They enjoyed them. It's just I don't enjoy making them. And it doesn't seem like hooks are as big a thing right now, or at least not to my customers. So we like to change our inventory. I'm not going to waste all the time that I did making this frame. So I had this idea to make a lotus flower to go in there. Looks great on picture, on video, I know. Um, there's going to be a short or maybe a video of me making it. But I, it, it won't center upright. Um, so came up with plan B and plan B, these are a little larger. I know we've got, we've got a plan B over here, but it's very similar to this is this. Now I've went ahead and ripped down these guys. This is a peach tree that I grew out in the yard, had to trim it. So I kept the limb. It's beautiful. And um, what I've done is I've nailed them into this frame. We're going to build little birds to go up here. Um, and they're going to eventually look like showing you guys a little bit of the uh, magic here. But believe it or not, sometimes I test out the pieces before I show them to you guys. I want to make sure that all the little quirks are done and that uh, Chris approves sometimes. So this will be what ends up, and y'all have seen this at, at this point, because um, it was on, it should have been the uh, thumbnail to the video. But yeah, we'll just, I'll walk you through this, and maybe I'll uh, chat with you guys a little bit. That always calms me down. Maybe instead of just putting some music up here, maybe I'll, I'll chat. I've gotten some mixed reviews about whether some people like the, uh, the back and forth commentary, some people... Like me just to throw some music on. But, so I guess it comes down to whatever I feel like doing. <laughs> Unfortunately for you guys. Okay, so we're just going to put a nail in here. And uh, what I'm doing behind these, because I'm not sure y'all are going to see the other video that started and I explained all this. What I'm doing is um, I am making some pieces. For this weekend's show, I got lucky enough to be allowed to go into a show that the um, the the uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to pick through my silverware right now. The um, jury process was done with, but I ended up showing up there last weekend in a tropical storm. It's local. It's in Charleston. Um, I'd really like to do it. Because I want to go downtown and kind of show you guys, actually. I want to show you downtown Charleston. Got four of them to make. So these are going to be our four candidates here. But I, I'd like to do it. Um, I'd like to get some recording done while I'm down there. Charleston is my home city. Well, not birthplace, but home now. I live in Charleston, South, Charleston, South Carolina. Um... Uh, Chris and I have loved it here since we moved here. It's been real good to us. Um, 
we do miss the Outer Banks. We miss the beach. We miss a lot of our friends. But we love it here, and we'd like to share some of that with you guys. Um, we're going to build these a little different than the birds that just saw the last time. Um, this one's too big. We're going to use a fork instead just to give it some curly because you're going to be able to see a lot closer than if it was in a garden. So I want to add a little detail. Um, yeah, I want to be able to show y'all Charleston. So I figured I'd, I'd do a little walking around after the show. It's got this great art show going on right now. They're called Piccolo Spoleto. And it came from our sister city over in, I think, Italy. Um, I did no research for this talk, so if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I think it's from Italy. And uh, they do it once a year, early June. And it's a 17-day festival of arts, both performing and visual. We have some great artists that come into town. And um, I said, I had actually missed the deadline to apply for the craft show. But they've had some last-minute cancellations. We had a uh, tropical storm come through. And I guess me showing up in person last weekend was a uh, positive because there's a space for me this coming weekend. Um, and I'm trying to prepare some last minute stuff. I, uh, I have, I think I counted almost 200 garden stakes to put out in front. I have my, like what I call my artistic pieces. Uh, which are my, um, I do a line of monsters, um, which are just straight out of my imagination. They're kind of Tim Burton-esque. And I do a line of um, hearts. Um, unchained hearts is what I call them. And then what I'm doing now is just trying to, like, I'm trying to produce the uh, equivalent of wall hanging garden stakes, something nice and simple to build, um, one of a kind, originals of course, but something that I can build over and over again, which I know isn't one of a kind, I meant one of a kind as far as no other artist is doing them, um, and uh, something that like people who don't have gardens can still purchase from me um, at a Sometimes more reasonable cost. Um, I don't actually see these as being a lot cheaper than some of my more artistic pieces, but um, um, sometimes they go more in trend. They they're more universally trendy. You know, not every home has a place for a monster or a giant unchained heart on the wall. By the way, I feel like I should be shouting out my uh, Etsy page at this point. I haven't gotten any of the artistic stuff up there, but I've gotten my garden stuff at this point. Um, if you guys, would anybody has an Etsy page and would like to subscribe to me, uh, I mean, uh, follow me on that. I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to get my uh, get inside the algorithm in everything, in, <laughs> in so many things. It's... Uh, between YouTube and that. All right, and then I've got my washers right here, which we're gonna use for the heads. And I'm just gonna make the beaks and we can start putting these bad boys together. Hope everybody's having a great Memorial Day. This is, this is my Memorial Day is why I say that. Um, so, It'll be definitely not Memorial Day wherever you are when you're seeing this. It'll likely be probably Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe Thursday. Um, I am going to try to get to Disney this week. Uh, Disney World again. They have a annual pass holders thing. 
Um, it will depend on whether my wife's in school. It will depend on whether she gets past her classes she has to get through. She doesn't know, but I'm severely considering going without her. <laughs> I want to see that annual pass holder stuff. All right, let's get some of these uh, these guys built. So we're just going to clip. I weld a little different. I know y'all are well aware of that at this point. I use a lot of direct ground connections. Um, and then... I've gotten accustomed to this sheet metal acting kind of like a table and I can put my patterns on it, but uh, I haven't upgraded to an actual welding table yet. So we're just going to put this guy right there. Oh, got to get my lid. Hope you guys can still see. I think I bumped you. Looks like it. Tell you what, let's zoom in a little bit more on the workouts. I know my filmography is just horrible, but there's basically the right there. And I'm going to, as always. So I do that for two things. It, I think it gives it a little feathered texture, takes away from it being a washer, and um, cleans up the soot in the weld. And honestly, it's going to pop against the, uh, against the wood background. By the way, I know I mentioned... Uh, it was Memorial Day today. I know you guys aren't going to hear this today, but to anybody out there that was a, that served, I know today's for the uh, remembrance, and I'm remembering in my own way. Um, my father served 82nd Airborne, um, and uh, he uh, he wasn't lost in battle, um, but his life became a battle, and he was lost in 2011. And um, that is where it hits home for me. And he became a welder. He taught me how to weld. If you've been watching the channel, you know that. And uh, this is the best remembering I can do. Um, this and a little bourbon at time to time. I'd also say that I've got another family member that I should call out um, who was also not lost in battle. He served, my grandfather served three wars and um, is one of the big reasons, him and my father are two of the big reasons why I do this and can do this. And um, we, he was lost a few years ago, so...
I know that's not the by the book meaning, but I think we all hold our own meanings in life, so. And if anyone's interested in one of these guys, um, my, I'm pretty sure this will be made in my Etsy shop. Will be will be available in my Etsy shop. really enjoy doing this piece. It, uh, it's taken me back to one of the first pieces I, I did. One of the reasons why I'm in this, or I do this. Hold on just a second. I got into making art for a big reason because 
the commercialism of like birthdays and whatnot just for getting out outrageous. And um, I decided that I like recycling better. So I would buy recycled, I mean, I would um, build people things out of recycled stuff, metal and whatnot. So, um, not always metal though. Um, my first real piece of art, it's probably still hanging at Bang Salon in Kill Devil Hills. Um, I, 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 the owner, and I've known the owner for years. She's such a good person. Uh, that's in North Carolina. And, um, there was a wood and metal piece that was called Unchained Heart. And I've always had a fascination with hearts and wings and birds. And um, that was back in the 2000. It was about 15 years ago. And um, I said, uh, 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 she actually, she actually never let me pay for any of my haircuts big surprise being an artist you know um that uh she she knew what you know what what artists go through and um wanted to help out a little bit so she never let me pay for any of my haircuts and um got to the point that it's like well she won't accept money from me so I'm going to give her a piece and um, one of its sister pieces when the show a few years later, the Frank stick show, no Molly fearing actually show uh, a few years later. And, uh, but she's got the first one. But it was uh, wood and metal. And I've always had a fascination with combining the two. And uh, that's why I actually have these. Because I can't go buy a picket without, you know, picking it up. Thinking all the good things that could be made from it. I am just horrible today. Let's back y'all back out. So you can see. How's that? Grab a few of these nails. Mm. 
Mm. Seem to have one more frame than I do. I have the wood for. And so I have to go cut another limb. I've got a stack of them out there. I've just got to cut them and rip them. Um, If you're wondering why I'm having to grind the nails off of the back, it's because I only had two inch nails. I think this will be the last one y'all see because I've got to go cut the limbs for the next. Actually, no, I've got to cut them off. I was thinking I could take off the one that I put on the smaller one over here. A little few into the future before I start doing these. Try them on the small ones, and they're too big. The birds are too big with them. So what we're going to do with these is I want to see if I can make a grasshopper. Um, so I think that would be cool looking. And at the end of the day, all this is just for amusing me. Can't take anything too seriously, right? The new stainless steel welding wire I've got definitely does not like the um, the nails. I gotta look into that, but it's fine. It's getting it. It's just just a pain getting there. Okay. Well, on this one, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, what y'all don't know is I've got one more I'm going to make of these. Then I'm going to walk myself through building a grasshopper. And then I will finally come back and show you guys. All right. Thank you. Like and subscribe.